This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by T-Mobile. <laughs> The University of Phoenix uh, has a founder by the name of John Sperling, and he recently uh, sold his shares of uh, stock for $59 million, okay? And the reason why he did that was because after the Gainful Employment Act passed, for-profit colleges saw a huge increase in the cost of their stocks. Now let me explain what the Gainful Employment Act is. So these for-profit colleges uh, were found to have these deceptive recruiting techniques. They were recruiting students, promising them the moon and the stars after they graduate. Uh, at the same time, these students would take out these huge loans, right. and then they would enter these programs that were not beneficial for them at all. They would graduate with huge student loan debt, right. and they would default on those debts because of the fact that they were unable to find work after graduating. So the Obama administration, uh, Congress, they found that this was a huge problem and they wanted to regulate the for-profit system because in the end, the losers here are the American taxpayers because our tax dollars uh, are funding these schools. You know, our tax dollars are uh, going to the financial aid that allows these students to go to these horrible institutions, right? So, the, so Congress decides that they're going to pass the Gainful Employment Act, which would make sure that a certain number of students who graduate from these schools uh, find work. If they do not find work, the government will no longer offer financial aid to those students should they choose to go to for-profit colleges. So it was a very strict um, proposal. And for-profit colleges freaked out. They didn't know what to do. Uh, but they decided, OK, we know that everyone in government is bought. So we're going to start uh, using some campaign dollars. They start funding both Republicans and Democrats. They actually funded more Democrats than Republicans. Okay, Heavy funding. And in the end, when Gainful Employment Act passed, uh, it was a very watered down, lenient version. Basically, it gives these for-profit colleges three different shots to get things right within a four-year time span. Okay, and uh, I mean, in four years, they have to mess up three times in order for the government to take the funding away. That's unbelievable. And that gives John Sperling enough time to cash out. It does. And what do you want to bet that that's going to get extended when the four years are up? When the first four year period is up, what do you want to bet there'll be an exception for it? Because this is a big business. Of course business. there will be. You probably know this. Maybe some of our listeners know this. Student loan debt in this country is now more than credit card debt. Yep. So it's a huge problem. Plus, because the bankers ruin the economy and we can't get the government to create the stimulus funds needed to get people back to work, we have youth unemployment of kids who go to real schools, legitimate yes. schools, is just horrible, uh, just through the roof. So we have a whole generation of kids already that is coming out of college right now and unable to find work. And on top of this, these scandal kind of, you know, I mean, this is a mill, this is these a racket. These schools are scammers. These schools are scammers. It, it's that simple. And I know that there are, there are a lot of professors and educators that teach at these institutions that are highly qualified. Don't get me wrong. But these schools do not offer the, the degrees that are necessary to succeed after they graduate, OK? Um, another thing that will uh, honestly astonish you is the fact that only 12% of students in the United States attend these for-profit colleges. However, 50% of the defaults on student loans come from students who graduated from for-profit colleges. That's interesting. And by for-profit colleges, you don't just mean a reputable private university. No, You're no, talking no, no. about this industry of the kind of college that doesn't really have a campus and gets... These schools have investors, right, okay? Right. Private universities like USC, they don't have investors. They're not run like businesses. Right. These schools are run like businesses. That's the difference. So uh, the University of Phoenix, Kaplan College, all of those right. are for-profit institutions that are run by businesses and they make huge profits. And they make huge profits it's because of the American taxpayer. T-Mobile's great selection of tablets, laptop sticks, and their new mobile hotspot allows you to stay connected to the internet on the go. Affordable high-speed internet when and where you want it without the overages. Mobile broadband data plans start as low as $29.99 a month and current T-Mobile voice customers save an additional 20%. 
Create your own personal hotspot on the go with T-Mobile 4G Mobile Hotspot. Get high-speed internet on up to five Wi-Fi devices, laptops, tablets, music players, gaming devices, and more. 4G capable with speeds up to 21 megabits. With the mobile hotspot from T-Mobile, you can share the power of America's largest 4G network. With devices like this, you can use T-Mobile's high-speed internet on the go.